All right, we got another scripture to get through today, and I am pumped about this scripture. I'm excited about this scripture. This is one of those scriptures that for me, it was just a life changing. It, it changed the way I looked at God and my salvation and Jesus, and it changed the way I lived. It changed my perspective. It changed my goals. It changed my motivation. It just, this is one of those verses for me that just changed everything about my relationship with God and how I'm living my life. So <laughs> that is a big, I know that's a big uh, statement and um, I want to share this with you. So this is from Ephesians chapter 2 and Paul, um, through, the, through the first part of Ephesians chapter 2, Paul is basically laying out the gospel that we were dead in our sins, but we are now alive in Christ because Christ has set us free from our sins. It is by God's grace through faith, right? So it's through our faith in Jesus that we have forgiveness and salvation. Um, it's because of God's love and kindness that he sent Jesus. And none of this, none of our salvation, none of the forgiveness, it cannot be earned. It's not by works so that no one can boast about it. It's not like I'm better because I did more to get saved and you barely got saved. It's none of that. It is a gift from God. So now we come to verse 10. And it's like four. So it's like because it's like this is why. And I want to stop right there. I'm telling you, I'm excited and I'm hope that I'm not talking too fast so that you don't understand me. But here we go anyway. Have you ever thought about why God wants you to be saved? Have you ever thought about why salvation is important? About what God has planned for you? Have you ever thought about that? Like salvation is not the end. Salvation isn't the final goal that we're, we're striving to get to. Salvation is not the end. Salvation is the beginning. Salvation is the beginning of our new life with Jesus because of God's work through him, through the cross, giving us the Holy Spirit. Salvation isn't the end of the journey. Salvation is the beginning so four, so we have been saved. It is a gift from God, not from yourselves. You can't earn it. We have been saved through Jesus. Four, we are God's handiwork. We are God's crafted piece of artwork. We are God's handiwork, or, or some translations say workmanship. We have been created. We have been molded. We have been formed. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works. So it is Jesus. I mean, have you ever thought about that too? Like you are a Christian. I am a Christian only because of Jesus. We are created. We, the only way that we are adopted into God's family is because of Jesus. So in that, that's what it means when it says we are created. We are a new creation. Paul says that over and over again. We are a new creation. The old is gone. The new has come. We are a new creation because of Jesus. We are created in Jesus Christ to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. God's plan. God has a plan for you right now where you're sitting, where you're listening to this. God has a plan for me right now where I'm sitting, where I'm talking this. God has a plan and part of his plan as those who belong to him through Jesus, Christians, he has good and great and wonderful things that he wants us to do, that he has prepared before we even knew we were going to be saved. God had this prepared for us. You have been created as a Christian in Christ Jesus for God's purpose. And I want to share that with you. Um, these are 12... Um, 12 things, let's see where my notes, here they are, no, no, highlights, sorry. Um, these are, here's, here are 12 principles to help us have the right mindset, have the right attitude, be in the right place in our lives so that we can be ready to do the work, to do the good works that God has prepared for us to do. All right, you with me? So these are 12 principles. This, this is from... Uh, my survival guide, uh, daily devotional. I can remember when I first read this list in conjunction with Ephesians 2.10, and it just, it helped. God just used it 
to help change the way I was thinking about myself and about uh, his plans for me. Um, I was at a I was at a weekend mission uh, seminar missions conference before we left uh, to be missionaries, and this just really helped put put God's word in perspective in my life. So uh, again, Ephesians two ten for we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God has prepared in advance for us to do. And again, these are twelve principles that we can make a part of our life to help get our our hearts and our heads in the right framework so that we will always be prepared to do the good works that God has for us to do. Number one is to reject your sin, but don't reject yourself. Reject your sin, but don't hate yourself. Number two, be quick to confess, be quick to repent, and be quick to walk away from your sin. Unconfessed sin is like a ball and chain, and it holds you back. Number three, be honest with God and be honest with yourself about yourself. God knows us even better than we know us, and he sees everything. So be honest with God, and it's important to be honest with ourselves as well. Number four, when you feel God moving, or uh, when you feel God moving you to act, follow his lead. When you know what the right thing to do is, do it. God will always, always, always enable and equip you to do whatever he leads you to do. Number five, stop putting yourself down. True humility is not self-hatred. God does not want you to hate yourself. He created you. He loves you. He wants you to be thankful for everything he's given you, including your life. So he does not want you to hate yourself. Number six, don't have an exaggerated opinion of your own importance. Number seven, when things go wrong, don't always assume that it's your fault. But when it's your fault, when you are wrong, learn from it and then become stronger and wiser because of it. Again, don't go back and start hating yourself. Learn from it and become stronger and wiser because of it. Number eight, be, uh, beware of having yourself on your mind too much. Don't obsess over yourself. Don't obsess over your right and wrong decisions. Because either way, if you do, when you do it, you're making yourself the center of your attention. Number nine, take care of yourself. Do the best you can with what God has given you. But don't be excessive or vain about the way that you look or your accomplishments because it's all temporary at best. And I would say here, number nine, uh, do the best you can with what God has given you. Stop comparing yourself. When we compare ourselves to others and what they look like or what they're doing, it's going to start tearing us down. Don't compare yourself, but take care of yourself and do the best with what God has given you. Number 10, don't let your education become a point of pride or don't let your lack of education become a source of shame. God does not use you because of your IQ or because of your degrees or diplomas or any of your awards. He uses you because you say, yes, I will go. Number 11, your talents are a gift from God, not something that you have manufactured on your own. Even when you spend hours and hours and hours and hours practicing to make something perfect, your talents are a gift from God. So make sure that you don't look down on people who can't do what you do as well as you do it. And lastly, number 12, don't hate what you're not good at. Your weaknesses keep you dependent on God. And again, these are 12 principles that will help keep our hearts and our minds in the right framework to be ready and willing and eager to do the good works that God has prepared for us to do. Let's pray. Father, we, we come before you, bowing before you in the name of your son Jesus, asking that you would work in us in the way that you know we need work. God, we're, we all, we're, all, we're all over the place. God, we just are. With our minds, with our hearts, with what's going on, we're all over the place. Work in us to make us the person that you want us to be. God, help to make us eager and excited and ready to do the good works that you have prepared for us. We love you, God. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.